Another sauce that we'll be making today is Bear Rouge, utilizing red wine, butter, some aromatics, in this case a fresh bay leaf, and shallots. The sauce we're making now is called a Bear Rouge. Rouge is in regards to the red wine. You can also make a Bear Blanc if you have some white wine that you'd like to use. The best wines to use for either a red or a white one is on the drier side, not too sweet. And what you want to do is you want to take your wine and you want to reduce it by about two thirds with shallots. If you don't have shallots, you can use onions. You can use the white of leeks. This has already been reduced and now I am just heating it up to infuse the aromatics that I put into it. And that is a sprig of fresh rosemary and a fresh bay leaf. But this is fully reduced and at this point what I'm going to do is strain this red wine reduction into a separate pot and heat our sauce, heat our reduction up again. And once this red wine reduction comes up to a simmer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start emulsifying pieces of butter into this red wine reduction with the aid of a whisk. And the rule of thumb is you want to use approximately the same amounts of butter that you have of red wine or white wine reduction. Now this is a really temperature sensitive sauce and what that means is you want to take into consideration the applications for it. It's great to have with a steak but it's not a good idea to pour a Bear Rouge over a, a steak that's nice and hot that just came out of the pan because the heat from that steak will cause your Bear Rouge to curdle or break. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to whisk this butter in. Once that amount is whisked in and fully incorporated, I'm going to add some more. You can see that it's considerably thicker already from all the butter that is emulsified into this red wine reduction. If you run into problems by adding more butter than your wine reduction can accept and it starts to curdle or break, you can have a little container of room temperature water by your side and add a few drops of water to it to save it from curdling. It's also a handy thing to have and good to be aware of. Now this is nice and thick, nice and thick. I can add maybe a very small amount of butter more without worrying about it breaking. And now that I have my last addition of butter in here, something that is valuable to do is to turn your heat up high and let it actually bubble a little bit because that convectionary movement of this simmering liquid will further emulsify, physically emulsify, the butter into the wine reduction. You don't want it to go too long that way or it could fall out of emulsion. And now, what I'm going to do is take this and put it into a separate container, a plastic container. This is important. Because plastic doesn't conduct heat and metal does. So this is going to maintain the proper temperature of this sauce. 
you just don't want to put it someplace that is too hot or too cold. So back here where it's warm is a nice place for it to be. You don't have to worry about it breaking. And that's a Bear Rouge. Lots of problems with your Bear Blanc or Bear Rouge breaking. What you can do is with an immersion blender or bar blender zap it for a few minutes. The high RPMs of the blades will really help you emulsify. And it's also good practice to add a few drops of water, maybe a little bit more soft butter. And there you go. 